This is the video solution to one of the buoyancy example problems. So let's start with a question. A barge is made from a rectangular box. The bottom of the box is 4 meters by 3 meters. How much farther will the barge sink below the surface of the water when a 1500 kilogram pickup truck is loaded on it? So let's start with a little diagram. Here's the barge, basically a box. It's floating in the water some, at some depth and it doesn't need to know. I just want to know how much farther it's going to sink. Since I'm talking about forces and I got this truck loading on the barge pushing downwards, I'm going to start with the free body diagram. So here's my free body, and I've got the buoyancy force going up, and I've got the weight of the truck, mg, going down. And the two are balanced because this barge isn't going to accelerate down, and it's not going to accelerate up. So that's what my free body diagram looks like. If I look at my givens, I can see that I've got the area at the bottom, the mass of the truck, and the height. And the height is really the depth that it's going to sink below the surface. So here's my strategy or the concepts I'm going to use. The buoyant force is directly proportional to the volume of the box underwater. So I can set that equal to to figure out the height of the box. To hold up the truck, the buoyant force must balance the weight of the truck. So that's my free body diagram. So I'm going to sum up the forces, somehow put the volume in there, and figure out what the height of it is, or the depth that it sinks. So I'll start by summing up the forces. Sum up the forces is equal to zero because it's not accelerating up or down. And that's equal to the buoyant force minus the weight. Since they're equal, it doesn't matter which one I subtract from the other. So therefore, the buoyant force equals the weight. So now it's time to put in the equations. For the buoyant force, it's rho vg. And for the weight, it's mg. So the g's divide out, leaving me the rho v is equal to the mass. And the velocity is the length times the width of the bottom times the height. That's the height or the depth that's underwater. Because remember, that's the volume of the box that's underwater due to the truck. So I solve this for h. I get h is equal to m divided by rho lw and then plug in my numbers and units. Once I got the numbers and units, I can then solve for the height, and I get the height to be 0.125. In case you're curious, it's about 5 inches. So the barge will sink an additional 0.125 meters into the water when loaded with a truck, 1,500 kilograms.